<laughs> What's going on? So I just wanted to have a little sit down and kind of discuss a few of my favorite products that's been helping me kind of like get by with the dentures. So we're going to start off with the hygienic stuff, okay? The most important. I mean, everything is important, but you know what I mean. So we're going to go with, of course, Dr. B's Crystal Solution, of course. So this is from Dr. B's, and this is like one of the best um, cleaning solutions you can use for your prosthetics, for your dentures, parcels, um, bridges, whatever you need to, that's removable, you can stick in water, you use some of this, a little bit goes a long way, um, but this will kill, it doesn't only lift stains, but it kills bacteria, it's not like um, those little F, whatever you call those little tablets, I never use those tablets on my dentures, ever, I mean I'm not really, um, certain people will use it if they're a cigarette smoker, I don't smoke cigarettes, but um, this right here will save your denture life, okay? It'll keep your dentures bright, beautiful, hygienically clean, and um, you can't go without it. And also, that comes with this as well. I mean, it's the whole Dr. B um, prosthetic line. So, we have this. We have the toothpaste. This toothpaste is able to go in your mouth and you can brush your gums. Um, any other toothpaste that's denture or prosthetic or anything that's for dentures, you're not able to use that in your mouth. But this one, you can. And this is super good for you. It's a lot of natural products in here. Um, I swear by this. This is probably like my third bottle. I have like another box here as well on standby because you girl gotta be prepared. Okay? Okay. Also, um, another great thing that's super good for you, for your dentures. Well, let's not even speak about that. Let's speak about your gums. Because when these prosthetics come out, your gums don't need love and a lot of care. So these toothbrushes, I had ordered them on my, I mean on Amazon, and they are the best when it comes to brushing your gums. It's super, I mean like, it's like baby soft, so soft. It's a thick brush, it's really good for your gums, I mean it just, it does the job. So you always want to have these toothbrushes, they are, you can order them on Amazon, I will leave the link in my bio, I mean in the description of this video, so you guys can know. Also it comes with four, which is really good, um, the other one is upstairs, but I have these three here on me as well, they come all together in a package. Also, um, Okay, so we're gonna, we did that. This is the um, solution for the dentures. Also, another really good one is I put this in my one of my shorts, I believe, when I first started sharing my journey. Um, this is a Sonic White Cleaner. This is good for partials, dentures, um, anything prosthetic that goes in the mouth. This is excellent for that. Um, a little bit goes a long way. Do not leave it more than like 10 15 minutes because this guy is strong. Just a little capsule with your denture bath with water. You soak your dentures in, and this eliminates like all type of stains and it kind of just brings your dentures 
truly back to life so this stuff is amazing and i will leave the links everything in this everything i'm going to show you of these products will be inside the description also um mouthwash this is the best mouthwash i don't live without this like true story i think i have another one in my bathroom upstairs um but these are so amazing they're about nine dollars like 8.99 or something like that probably like eight dollars but a little bit goes a very long way and they have it for all sorts of you know issues to be stuff from dry mouth this is uh for mouth sores this one is for the dry mouth and they're excellent I mean they give you a like when you have your prosthetics in your mouth or your dentures um you know most time we get achy we get sore especially after a few hours this really gives you like a big relief on your gums it's like a denture bath like a denture spa of bubbles in your mouth that's just like sealing and like soothing and like it loves your gums it loves your mouth and i love by this stuff okay okay also um of course you guys cannot go without brushing your tongue okay like can you like i've heard a few people tell me um You'd be surprised what you come across when it's to like when it comes to the oral care, mouth care, dental care, even just the dental care, your your gums. A lot of people are very ignorant when it comes to your mouth, your hygiene. Tongue scrapers. You cannot go without a tongue scraper. You need to get all that bacteria off your tongue yesterday like immediately like right now okay okay not judging you but i've come across a lot of people that would be like you know i never knew that you were supposed to like brush your gums and you know like that's probably like why like i lost my teeth and i'm like you have a huge platform a huge following how do you not know these little things? I mean, these are just so important. Like, mouth hygiene. Get on it. Brush your tongue, guys. Super important, okay? Alright. Let's not forget that. We need to do that. Awesome. You guys know that I do not live. Here we go again. This is, this is, you already know. This right here will save your life. So this is part of my dentures and part of my products that I live by. Kitchen Grip. Kitchen Grip is the best. It's saving me in my immediates right now because you know I'm in immediate dentures. I am nine months post-op. Um, and um, yeah, September I go for my Terms. My wax trains, I guess. Um, but yeah, September 5th is my appointment, my dentist appointment for to start working on my permanent dentures. So, but this right here is super, 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 super good. You cannot live without this. You can order it on the website or on Amazon if you have Prime. Uh, you can get it in a few days, sometimes next day out. It all depends on the shipping also um adhesives let's talk about that i have a few <laughs> a couple hold on i think i left one of them But 
anyway, you know what adhesives are. Um, secure. Secure you can find on Amazon. Uh, I don't know if you can find it on Walmart. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's only on Amazon that I've seen this. But I will leave the link in the description. But I really, I live by this stuff too. This is so good. Um, I love it because oh. Standby. Um, I don't have the cap to this one because this is pretty much empty. But this is awesome. This does the job. But this, this right here works just like this one. But I feel like this one to me is much more of a better cleanup than this guy. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these two adhesives and you guys are familiar and you use it leave me a comment and let me know which one you prefer but these I love I like this one better only because it's a better cleanup but I like this one because it does the job as well they both do a great job I just like that it's a better cleanup with this one so if that makes sense I also use sometimes um powders mainly in the bottoms I don't ever really use powder on the top uh, cause the cushion grip really holds it up. Also, my secure thing, but the bottoms I mainly have a problem with. So I have fix it in powder, and I also have the poly grip powder. I don't know why I like poly grip powder more than I do the fix it in powder. You guys can let me know what you guys like or what you use, but this one right here is my favorite. I do have a few backups, like always. Um, because when you're in a dental girl, girl, you better have a backup, okay? <laughs> Don't be sleeping on these dentures. <laughs> Too sorry. <laughs> um, what else can I share with you guys? I love, 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 love so much. Um, that's about it for now, but. I also wanted to go over really quickly on to find your cookie. Um, a few people were asking me like um if you do you do your own um adjustments with your dentures like for your tops or bottoms, depending. And when I first got my immediate dentures, these are the immediates. Um I don't even remember if I do have a warranty. I don't remember. I've only been to the dentist twice. Once, um, because the dentures did not want to stay in my mouth and I couldn't get them to stay in, the mouth, in my mouth. And I was panicking. I was like, but this was probably like three or four days into, you know, from extraction day. Um, and my dentist told me, please just get some sea bond strips that will really help especially for your early days of extraction um it gives you a lot of comfort it's not like an adhesive it just it's like an extra little padding and cushion and it's gonna you know kind of keep them up there sometimes it doesn't i don't know but after like four days and your extractions are closed and you do salt water rinse i mean rinse sorry let me come let me go back salt water rinses from extraction day twice a day make sure you don't get no air sockets make sure you're not poking on your extractions or anything like that if you don't want to use adhesive which you shouldn't for the first days of extraction um go with the sea bond strips and just go with kitchen grip kitchen grip will help you after a few at least a week after extractions I was able to use kitchen grip literally two days after my extractions and that was mainly in the bottom in the bottoms I don't think I wore it on the yes I did no I did put it on my tops very little bit and not even on my extraction area I only put it like on the palette of the upper denture that's it you don't want to distract your fresh extractions when you first get your teeth extracted 
because you don't want no air pockets you don't want no infections it's painful and you want to keep it you don't want no blood clogging like you you want it to um the heal the best way it could the, the best way it's supposed to so be beware don't take my advice because I'm not a dentist. This is just what I've experienced and what I've gone through. Products that I've been using that's been working for me. And I'm just going by what has worked for me. I'm not a dentist. I am not a doctor. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm only telling you what has worked for me. Hopefully this can work for you guys as well. So, I kind of covered pretty much everything. Um, no, I didn't. Sorry guys, I want to show you real quickly how to, this is not real dentures, it's just like a, a prop, I guess, denture prop. But let's assume that these are your dentures, right? And let's say that this is the top of obviously, these are your bottoms. I mean, you're not going to have this ridge here, but let's just say that this is the top of your dentures and if they're like too high because mine's I felt like they were way too high I feel like they were going up my brain literally so I kind of lowered them a little bit but you gotta go little by little just have like a 180 nail file if you have a nail drill and you know what you're doing you know what you're doing then do it there's videos to do it but be very be very careful like I don't want to be responsible if you lose your denture or you crack it that's not my fault. I'm only telling you will work for me. Don't come for me. All right? I come in here in peace. I come to save you guys and to help you with your dentures. Not to ruin them. All right? All right. Let's get that straight. Okay, so I take the top. This is what I used to do before. I used to take the top of the denture. And I would just slightly, like, very very slightly you know you want to get them down a little bit little bit little bit you rinse them off you clean them you pop them back in you see if it's working if you feel that there's not too much material going on up there and you brought it down just by a, a little millimeter great but again do this with caution all right i know these things are expensive they're not cheap if you crack them you've worn them Okay? Okay. So, this is a quick piece of advice. And this is only my experience. What works for me may not work for you guys. So, that's what I'm going to say, okay? Okay. But, um, adjusting your dentures is very possible when you're at home. In case you don't want to keep going or you just can't go back to your dentist for whatever reason. But again, do it with caution be very and just very little bit at a time just a little bit at a time nothing crazy don't go ham on them and no just softly a millimeter at a time you pop them back in you see if they're good if they're not you try it again if not then again please work with cushion grip this will really give you like that comfort and that grip that you need to keep them in your mouth. And that's what I'm going to say. So for now, I hope this has helped you guys. Um, and I hope you can take some notes on what, again, has worked for me as my products. Um, yeah. And I will be in touch with you guys very soon. Also, um, there was another situation that I was looking into regarding the maxillary uh, Tory. That is like when you have like an extra bone. Let me see. I'll give an example. Like you might have like extra bone inside your gum, right? And these are your real teeth. Let's say these are your real teeth. But you have a lot of extra bone here. I'm going to probably put a picture up somewhere in my video of the maxillary tori. Um, certain patients are not able to get it removed and certain patients are. 
depending on your age and your heart condition, if you do have a condition with your heart. Um, I know certain people who have a maxillary tori, and um, sometimes you have to get that bone removed in order to get your dentures in your mouth. Certain surgeries are required, certain are, I mean, you know, depending on your situation, it's not. But it could be on the bottom of your mouth, you know, your bottoms or the top where you have extra bone. And because of that extra bone, you're not able to have a prosthetic in your mouth with that extra bone. So you can get it surgically removed um, depending how bad it is. Sometimes it's a very simple procedure. It all depends on your health and your situation. But I'm looking more into that situation with the maxillary tories. Because um, I think it's important. There's a lot of people who suffer from that. I've never had that. I've never suffered from that. I just had my high calcium. You know, I had the tumor in my panathyroid gland that I had to get removed. And that was what did the damage to my mouth. But there are other patients who are suffering from that big bone that is in the way in between the teeth roll. So some patients have to get it removed and some don't. It all depends. But I will be covering more on that situation a little later on. Um, I'm going to end it here. And I hope that I kind of answered a lot of you guys' questions regarding products that I love and I use and I just really live by and that is really kind of saving my life right now with my dentures so I'm gonna leave it here you guys I hope you guys have a great night a great weekend and we will talk very soon